I have some super exciting news to announce on Monday. If you listen to my podcast, you definitely want to tune in on Monday and get this big announcement. That's all I'm going to say about that. Today on the podcast, what I'm going to be talking about is Outset, which is a new company that is essentially using GPT-4 to make user surveys better. This is such an interesting concept I wanted to talk about on the podcast today um, because I think there's a massive potential here and not just for this company to obviously get better results, but for users to have a better experience. I think this bleeds into a lot of things and where we see AI getting implemented into a bunch of different software that you probably use every day. So today on the podcast, we'll be talking about the implications, talking about what Outset is doing and how we think this is going to evolve in the future. So let's get into it. Welcome to the world's number one AI podcast, AI Chat. I'm your host, Jaden Schaefer. Make sure that you go to AIbox.ai, link in the show notes, to join the waitlist for our new AI platform. We're going to be launching an incredible platform that allows you to build anything you want with workflows um, in AI. So you're able to chain together chat GPT and image generators and audio generators to make really powerful apps for your organization or you can host them on our marketplace and actually generate royalties from them. So make sure to go to AIbox.ai and join the wait list. In addition, if you like the podcast, if you could do me a massive favor and please leave us a review on Apple or Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcast. This helps me be able to get better guests on here as they check the reviews to see how you guys are liking it. So if you could please do that, I would really, really appreciate it. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer, and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts, and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster. So if you're interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for Podcast app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. In an age where instant decisions drive the business landscape, I think the pressure to, you know, on research teams essentially to deliver insights um, and really insightful results, like quickly and effectively, it's at an all-time high. So the traditional process of gathering user insights through really intensive interviews can be time-consuming and costly. I come from a marketing background, so this is something like I have a lot of experience with. You know, we're always trying to Uh, speak with our customers to figure out exactly what they want. So we are making sure we're actually serving them. So I think this gap between between kind of like the urgency of of business decisions and the pace of research insights is what has inspired the creation of Outset. So this is a new company which is spearheading the automation of qualitative interviews and they're integrating AI in a big way. So Aaron Cannon, who previously was a strategist at Deloitte, um, he recalled the the like all of the hours spent on client projects so post the project phase canon and his team had the added task of kind of coordinating and moderating customer interviews um he said quote enterprise decision makers expect faster and faster results from insights teams he also kind of had these concerns that the quickened pace of discussions could make you know essentially was going to be making leaving uh, insight functions and everyone working there could be struggling to keep up. Um, It was against this kind of backdrop that he was collaborating with Michael Hess, who's a former colleague um, from Talent Recruitment. Um, And I think Hess was actually previously working at Untapped, which is um, another company in kind of the talent recruitment space. And together, they have worked together to create Outset. So Outset is actually backed by Y Combinator. And essentially, their approach is that they're trying to autonomously conduct and compile interviews. So Canon recently talking about all this said, quote, the broader slowdown and associated layoffs have hit research and insights team disproportionately hard, but the demand from business leaders to make more informed and strategic decisions has not slowed down. I think, um, you know, this has really kind of created an environment where there's a there's a big expectancy of achieving more with fewer results. And of course, I don't think this is just in, you know, for like business analysts and, and people trying to give these kind of Uh, bits of data. This is in every department I think we're seeing right now, especially because AI can help augment so many different things. But I think this is really kind of pushing companies to lean on technology to amplify their tasks. So one of Outset's primary technological um, tools right now is OpenAI's GPT-4. So this text generating AI model, essentially what, what they're using it for is to facilitate interviews in research studies by allowing users to craft a survey, share it, 
and then leverage GPT-4 to follow up with survey participants. Essentially, it's a it's trying to aim to build a you know conversational rapport, quote unquote, um, which they say is going to ensure richer, more in depth responses. So for every question, GPT-4 is designed to identify themes, count occurrences, and spotlight quotes. And all of this is in an effort to essentially uncover the story um, of you know what really is going on here. So reflecting on the traditional methods, Canon uh, recently said, quote, today, much of the work to collect and analyze qualitative data is done manually. Um, he really kind of envisions Outset as not just a tool to help researchers process um, all of this, but also as a really revolutionary entity that could perhaps expand to the scope of market research altogether. So I think while it's still early stages for Outset, their collaboration with um, brands like Weight Watchers and a bunch of others, I think, indicate like there's a lot of promising prospects here. Weight Watchers managed to execute and analyze over 100 interviews within a day. And these insights are now kind of assisting Weight Watchers in coming up with a new user segmentation framework. Um, beyond this, Canon also said, quote, we're currently working with 15 enterprise insight teams at companies like Opendoor to help them in making swifter, more user-centric decisions. I think Outset's momentum is also kind of evident in its research or in its recent successful fundraising ventures. The company actually recently secured around $3.8 million in a round, which was, I think, led by Adverb Ventures. They had some contributions from, I think, Weekend Fund and Jack Altman, which is a sibling of Sam Altman. Um, but they have plans essentially to scale their team from four to six full-time members by the end of the year. That's really what they're focusing on uh, using this money for. And Canon emphasized they're kind of taking a pro- cautious approach to all of this. He said, quote, we're just raising our seed and our team is small, so we're keeping our burn rate low. He's very optimistic from what I've seen about kind of the company's trajectory. Um, and I think be- the, like the reason for this is he cited a lot of kind of growing demand for AI enhanced tools in daily knowledge work. Um, and this is kind of a, a positive trend for them that places them in a really strategic position to kind of navigate future challenges they might have. So definitely a very interesting company to be following along with. It's, it's kind of interesting that they have Jack Altman, which is, of course, opening eyes CEO Sam Altman's brother um, investing in this. Um, definitely an interesting company to follow. And I think uh, this is one I'll be following up with shortly. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. Thank you for listening to the AI Chat Podcast. If you enjoyed the podcast, I'd appreciate it if you rate me wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you're looking for an innovative group of AI enthusiasts, make sure you check out our Discord channel and also our Facebook community. It's obviously a lot more interactive than a podcast where we can actually share software tools, prompts that we're using in everyday AI. I'll leave a link for those in the description below. 